Welcome everybody, this is another installment of Less Famous Faces, a series that I did ooh, probably two years ago now. I don't know why I never came back to it. I had a ton of fun making them and I have still to this day so many more YouTube, obscure YouTube people that I would love to talk about. So just a little bit of context, one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube is pretty much no-name creators. What up YouTube, this the man 7431 coming back with another video. Today's subject is going to be the man 7431. This guy has such a very interesting beginning, middle, and unfortunate end, but we'll get to that at the end. First, let me introduce to you to him, or actually let me let him introduce himself to you. My name is the man 7431. I've been making videos since 2008. I make unboxing videos, review videos, giveaway videos, and how-to videos. Right out of the gate, something that you'll notice is his thumbnails are full of weird kind of logos and texts and just a little bit bizarre and homemade, but he kind of passes it off as if they're very professional. I don't know how to describe the aesthetic of them, but they're very specific. He, he largely reviews and does like hack videos for really, really off-brand electronics. By far my favorite thing about the man is his very intro. What up, YouTube? This the man 7431 coming back with another video. His call, I mean, that calling card just rings in my head for years and years and years. And there's something about his voice that is so nice. It's like, it's like f delicious ASMR. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change out your SD card and your ZG PAX S8 smartwatch phone. Now, a lot of people has been messaging me, personal messaging me, asking me how to change out their SD card and their smartwatch phone. He always, he always has these like really dramatically cinematic intros. The products that he does unboxings of and reviews are so like out of left field, like insanely weird. Like this this one here where he's doing in-dust microfiber towels. Just your typical microfibers. It says all flat panel TVs, computer screens, CDs, DVD, Blu-rays, game discs. You can even clean your 3D TVs. It's safe even for that, guys. More information on the back. Pause that and read it for yourself. And then there's just some products where it's like, where did you even find those? And today I'm going to be doing an a unboxing on the Fruit Gummy Candies by Sunkiss. They were 89 cents a piece. Um, as you can see on the front of this box, it says nut free, gluten free, and fat free. Made with real fruit juice. But without a doubt, one of my favorite moments of this guy's, you know, career on YouTube is his Bluebell video. I've been feeling really, really bad for some Bluebell ice cream ever since they removed it from all the stores. Now, you know, the reason why they pulled it off the shelf because everybody was like, oh, well, it's got that um, Lursa stuff in it. And that was only um, a Pacific ice cream. There was like, I think, four or five or maybe 10 different kind that had that in it. It's like, well, what about the ice cream I got in the freezer? Is that infected? No, it's not infected. There's nothing wrong with that ice cream. But um, I know you guys are probably wondering where I got this ice cream from. And I actually got this from Craigslist. But I just love the idea of this video because to me, the way I see this video is it's a man who heard maybe possibly some misinformation that Bluebell was being recalled, thought that it was being taken off the shelves, which usually is not really what a recall means. And so he went to Craigslist and got ripped off. I ended up paying out of pocket one of these $20. Um, I seen ice cream on there for 2,500 and I found a really, really, really good deal on this ice cream. And this product is very, very hard to get. I think all the stuff where he says that people are selling it for these really high prices, while I do know people will sell things for crazy high prices online, I don't think it's true. I think it's just him trying to justify him paying $40 for two tubs of ice cream. It's the real deal. So here's, 
here's where things get really interesting. Um, as of March 1st, 2017 was the last day he posted his video and it was a channel update. The reason why I haven't been doing any videos in a while, guys, is my overall health. I haven't been doing too well lately. Um, I went to the hospital yesterday. They ran some tests on me. They want to do more tests on me next week and the week after. So, um... I don't know what's going on with me, guys, but my overall health has not been the best. So he made that video, and I guess because I've seen so much of his content, I'm a little bit more ear-tuned to the, his voice, but he definitely seems sick, uh, for sure. So here's my theory. Um, I think that the man is morbidly obese. I get that from the tone of his voice and his hands. That's really all the theories that I, that that's all I have to go off of. I just have a feeling that he's morbidly obese and I think he died. That's my honest opinion, my honest theory. I think he died. Uh, so this channel is um, kind of a testament to at least his internet life, which definitely died. I mean, his channel is no longer active and hasn't been for many years when he was very active prior to it. I love the man, 7431. He is such an iconic legend and uh, I really wish he would come back. I, I really wish, I really hope that I'm wrong, um, but he's a legend in my eyes. I have more of these to come. I might do one tomorrow, or it might be another two years before I do another one. See you guys later.